boy. At a quick glance, Stanley looks like your average lovable family dog. But when he turns to the side, you quickly notice one of his back legs is missing. He's pretty stubborn, yeah. but that's what probably helped him survive. Stanley has gone through numerous surgeries since his traumatic incident in 2022, but his spunky attitude makes you forget he only has three legs. At only three months old, Stanley was left to die on the side of a road in Texas. He had been thrown from a car as a puppy and the car behind him hit him. The driver who accidentally hit Stanley immediately brought him to a local rescue, which led to multiple visits to the hospital. His back left leg had to be amputated and his front left leg was broken. Stanley was going to be euthanized until someone in Texas reached out to the founder of Where the Love Is, a rescue organization in Connecticut. Foster parents Michael and Melissa Capone welcomed Stanley into their home as he recovered. We got to offer him things that he never experienced mm -hmm. before. You take for granted, yeah. you know, the, never even thought that, you know, coming into our home would have been maybe the first home that he really had. Taking time off from work, the Capones even made their home handicap accessible. We built ramps. We had a whole, like it looked like a circus out here. An adopter was ready to take Stanley in once he was nursed back to health, but it never worked out. So the Capones kept looking for other adopters, only to realize they wanted to keep Stanley themselves. It was just an excuse to keep <laughs> yeah. him. You know, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, maybe we just knew that we didn't want to give him up. In August of last year, Stanley was officially adopted into the Capone family, a decision they said they will never regret. He's spunky. <laughs> yeah, he is spunky. <laughs> Reporting at Hamden, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.